Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish Move Love, and we are coming at you with a full body dumbbell workout for beginners. All you're gonna need is some dumbbells. You go heavier, light, you decide. We're gonna hit head to toe, full body strength training for every season of life. And I'm joined by the amazing Megan, who's gonna be helping us throughout today's workout. She's gonna be showing some options that you can scale down. If you wanna follow Megan, go for it, or you can follow me. This is your workout, you take it at your pace. And it looks like this, you have four circuits. Each circuit has about one to two exercises. Typically, we're gonna go legs, then arms. You're gonna do it twice. These are strength training moves. And then you're gonna put it together in a power combo move that is legs and arms together for a one minute burnout. We'll transition circuits. You got four circuits, it's quick and dirty, and we're gonna get ourselves started with a good warm up. You ready, Megan? Yes, let's All right, do this. let's jump in. Feet are about shoulder width distance apart. You're gonna take your hands to your hips. You're gonna give me one hip hinge, one squat. So it looks like this, push the hips back, Stand tall, drop the hips down. Stand tall, push the hips back. Stand tall, drop the hips down. Stand tall, just warming up the back side of the body. Nice. And then the front side, right here I'm hitting hamstrings, glutes, and I'm hitting glutes and quads. Nice. Push it back, stand tall, take it down. Two more, two more, push back. Stand tall, sit it down. Last one, last one, hinge and Drop, awesome job. You're gonna go to the back side of your mat. Actually, let's go back to our back side of our mat right here. You're gonna give me a plank walkout. So you're gonna go back to that hinge position, forward fold, hands reach for the ground, walk out, find a, yourself a high plank option. Just drop to the knees or toes if you need to. Walk back in, touch the toes, stand up tall, reach up nice and tall, do it again. Hinge, walk out, find a high plank, walk back in. Warming up the core and the shoulders, the arms, getting it all right here. Nice little hinge, walk out, find that high plank. Walk it back in, you're gonna give me one more. This time you're gonna hold your high plank position. Nice work, walk it out. Hold that high plank right here. You're gonna step your right foot outside your right hand. Option, drop the back left knee to the ground. Big inhale, reach up, fingertips follow, sh gaze follows fingertips. And you're gonna give me shoulder sweeps. So big shoulder sweeps to the back, warming up the shoulder as we open up the hips, go for three, two, one, replant the right hand inside the right foot, switch it out, left hand, or left foot steps outside left hand, easy twist, shoulder sweeps to the back for three, actually we'll go for a little bit longer, we'll go for five, four, three, two, and one, nice, replant the hands, right here you're gonna lower all the way down to the belly, plant your forearms on the ground right here, give me a nice little half cobra, just rolling those shoulders down and back, opening up the chest, that feels really good, if you're 12 weeks postpartum like me and spending most of your day hunched over a baby, awesome, nice, from here, you're gonna replant the hands, push back up, find that high plank position. You're gonna give me shoulder taps, opposite hand, opposite shoulder for eight, seven, six, you got it, five, four, three, two, and one. Two push ups, knees or toes. Down, up, down, up. Go ahead, push up and back, down dog. This should feel good. Go ahead, pedal those heels, warm up the calves, the ankles. Think about pressing your chest towards your thighs. Nice. One more big inhale. Big exhale, drop those heels to the mat. Walk your hands back to your feet. Soften in the knees. Roll up all the way once you get to the top. Two shoulder rolls up, back and down. Up, back and down. Let's go alternating step back lunges. So just step the right foot back, stand tall. Left foot back, stand tall. Opening up this hip flexor, driving through this front heel. Eight, you got it. Seven, nice work, nice work. Six, come on. Five, nice. Four, hamstring curls in three. And two, last one, you're gonna pull those heels towards those glutes, just pull and pull. Pull for eight, seven, six, you got it, five, four, three, two, one. Quick short warm up and we are jumping in. You warm, Megan? Let's do this, circuit number one is squats, shoulders, triceps. I'm gonna start with one heavy weight, one dumbbell, and you're gonna go into a goblet squat. That's our first move. So points of contact are my collarbone and my sternum. I'm gonna hold the dumbbell here, elbows tucked in nice and tight, and you're just gonna sit back into a squat, stand tall. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. That timer starts in three, two, let's squat it out. Down and up, nice work. Squat and stand, I'm driving through those heels to stand me tall. My knees are tracking towards my outer three toes. Nice, my elbows are falling inside my thighs or my knees. Okay, no chicken wings here. Don't let that dumbbell pull you forward. Keep it packed nice and tight. Everything nice and tight. Drive through those heels, stand you tall. Goblet squat, your base move right here. We go legs, then we go arms. Come on, nice work. You're on those legs for 10 more seconds. Squat it out, your pace, your tempo. You can always pick it up or slow it down. For five, four, 
three, two, give me one more. You got it. Now you're gonna take that dumbbell, go horizontal for me. You're gonna give me two shoulder press, two overhead triceps. So it looks like this, push, push, bend, extend, bend, extend. Woo, that 20 pounds gonna feel nice and heavy. Two push press or two shoulder press, two triceps. In three, two, let's go. Push, hold it high, bend, extend, bend, extend. Drop the dumbbell. Overhead, hold high, hide the weight, show it, hide the weight, show it, nice. Still thinking about keeping those hips tucked under my rib cage. Nice, hitting the upper body here. Really focusing on the shoulders right here. Holding high, hitting those triceps, back of the arms right there. Two and two, you got it. 10 seconds here, yes you can. Stay with it, bend, extend. Give me two more shoulder press and you're out. One and two, set the weight down, shake it out. Nice work, right? Whew. Gonna start that workout right away with some legs and shoulders. We're gonna repeat those two exercises, back to goblet squat and then your shoulder press and triceps, okay? We're gonna put those two exercises together with a one minute burnout after this. Grab your dumbbell, set it up. Goblet squats in three, two, let's go. Squat it out right here, nice work. Down up, drive through those heels. Awesome job, you got this. It's one rep at a time. Your pace, your tempo, okay? Now if you have lighter dumbbells, you could always go two lighter dumbbells on each side of the body, okay? Or you can take one heavy at the chest like us. You decide, your workout, your 40 seconds of work. Right here, down up, down up. Nice work, stay with it, you got it. What would it look like if I said 10 more seconds right here on the lower body, come on. Finish it, drive through those heels, stand tall, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, you can set it down. Quick shake out. We go into those two shoulder presses, two triceps. Two shoulder presses, two triceps. Choose the weight that's gonna challenge you. It's 40 seconds, this is your last time. You're gonna do it, then we're gonna put it together with a nice combo move. You ready? Here we go, rack it. Two shoulder presses. Stop bending those knees. We go in three, two, let's go. Push, hold at the top, hide the weight, show it, hide it, show it. Lower with control. Again, if you got lighter weights, you give me two dumbbells right here. One in each hand, okay? Awesome job. Down, up, down, halfway, halfway. You got 20 seconds left. That weight should start to feel challenging. I know it is for me. You'll see me shutting my eyes right here, gritting my teeth, feeling those shoulders start to burn. Come on, 10 seconds here. Yes, you can stay with me. Come on, five, four, three, Two, give me one more. Shoulder press, because you can. Ah, you're out. Set it down, shake it out, shake it out. All right, you guys, one minute burnout. We put it together. You're gonna give me two front squats, two presses. So I'm gonna rack it right here. Down, up, down, up. Then I stop at the top. One, two, legs and shoulders. Whoo, they are gonna burn at the end of this workout, just starting with pure fire, right? Here we go, one minute, two squats, two shoulder press. That's where we go. Again, you got lighter weights. One in each hand. We go in three, two, let's go. Down, up, down, hold at the top. Go for one and two. Back to your squat. Down, up, down, hold at the top. Go for one and two. You got two squats to two shoulder press. Come on, you got it. Nice work. Push and push, legs and shoulders. Two big muscle groups, pairing them together for one minute of work. That is not easy, you guys. One minute of work. The two strength moves you did earlier, isolated just the legs and just the arms. Maybe you could go heavier there. This is endurance training right here. One minute of work is tough. Maybe you need to go a little lighter here. That's okay, come on, you got 20 seconds left. I know I'm feeling those shoulders. They're really burning for me. Push and push. Yes, you can. Come on, you got this. 10 more seconds, yes, you can. Push, come on, you got two more squats in you. That's how we finish, down. Up, down, you're out. Set the weight down. Grab yourself some water. Awesome work, you guys. That is circuit one. And it was a spicy one. Circuit two is lunges and biceps, okay? We go lunges first, then we go biceps. Okay, lunges first, then biceps. I'm gonna grab my weights. You're just giving me a good old alternating step back lunge. Step back lunge, stand, step back lunge, stand. We'll go lunges first, Bicep second, 
and then we'll put them together for that power move. Ready, Megan? Yes. Step back lunges up to you. You could grab one weight, you could grab two. I'll you grab get lighter. I'm gonna do lighter. There you go. Perfect, stepping back on that right foot. In three, two, let's go. Step back lunge, drive tall stand. Step back lunge, drive tall stand. That's all right, we'll get it. There we go. <laughs> right and left. It's always, it's easier than you think, but actually it's harder for us. We're mirroring you. So it's really opposite for us. And I have to say, we gotta point out, Megan was in the OG Animal 20 minute workouts, okay? We shot those what? In how old Liam was like, just, he was a year old? Yes, a year old, and now he's eight. So seven now, years seven ago. Seven years ago, Megan was in the OG videos and we had to bring her back for the beginner 20 minute series. Come on, you guys, five seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Set them down, shake out those wrists. Bicep curls, okay? You're gonna give me a one and a half curl, so we'll start with palms facing out. It's all the way up, halfway down, top and down. Up, half, top and down. It's a one and a half curl. You're really doing one and a half curls. That's why we call it that. Shoulders down and back. We go in three, two, let's go, let's go. All the way up, halfway down, top, lower all the way down, slow and controlled. All the way up, halfway down to the top, slow and controlled down. All the way up, halfway down, top, slow and controlled lower. Nice. Think about keeping a nice long neck, shoulders packed down, soften in those legs, spreading that floor apart underneath you. You keep those legs turned on, that core turned on the entire time. Hup, half, 10 seconds. You got it. You want to choose a weight that makes these final 10 seconds feel really hard for three, two, and one. Nice work. Awesome job. We're going to repeat it. Back to step back lunges, back to bicep curls. When I say your final 10 seconds should be challenging, it really should. If it's not, it's time for you to go up in weights, okay? Those final 10 seconds should feel challenging. We're gonna go step back lunge. This time, let's step our left foot back first, all right? Stepping back in three, two, let's go. I'm thinking about keeping my shoulders stacked over my hips as I step back to lunge. Not stepping too far back. That causes me to dip into my low back. Just think about dropping that back knee to the ground driving through that front heel to stand me tall. Again, you can go slower. If you want, you can slow this down. Awesome job. Reverse lunge is gonna be a little bit gentler on the knees. Gonna work a little bit more hamstring and glute. If we did a front lunge, we'd be hitting a little bit more glute and quad or thigh, a little bit more challenging for the knees. So you can choose, you can always mix it up. Nice so work, you got five seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. I'm gonna set those weights down. I'm gonna shake it out. We go back to that one and a half curl. This time we're gonna go hammer curl. So palms are gonna stay facing in, all the way up, halfway down, top, down. Hammer curl versus a standard palm out curl. All right, grab those weights, guys. Let's do it. Biceps, shoulders down and back in three, two. Hammer curl, here we go. Up, half, up, and down. What we're doing here is increasing the time under tension for the bicep muscle. We're making it work longer by doing that little half curl in between. Always good to mix it up, right? I bet you've done a lot of standard curls in your day, okay? Always good to mix things up. Here we go. All the way up, halfway down, up and down, up, half. Let's go, 10 seconds, do those weights, challenge you. If not, it's time to go up, my friends. Five, four, three, Two and one. Nice work. Woo! Shake it out. One minute burnout move. We put it together, okay? You're gonna give me a step back lunge hold, two curls. I'm gonna go hammer curls. Step back lunge hold, curl, curl, stand tall. Step back lunge hold, two curls, all right? You got this. It's one minute. It's gonna challenge you. That's what we're here for to challenge ourselves today, right? Stepping back on that right leg in three, two, let's go. Step back lunge hold, curl. Curl, drive through that front leg, stand up, step back left. Step back left, hold. Curl, curl, drive through that front right heel, nice. Step back right, woo, find that balance, hello. Something I'm still working on at that 12 week postpartum phase. Balance, coordination, come on, right here. You got it, Hup. nice work. Yes, come on, grit those teeth through every rep. You got this, you are so stinking strong. You're halfway, 30 seconds left. I know it burns. Do you feel the top of the thighs on that hold? Ooh, we're burning. Yes. That means those muscles are working. That lactic acid is building. 
You are getting stronger with every stinking rep right here. Stay with us. Come on, that water break is coming. It comes for you in 10 seconds. Finish strong right here. Woo! I feel the burn, yes I do. Five, four, three. Give me two curls for the finish. And you're out. Woo, holy bananas. Legs are on fire. Grab yourself some water. You got two circuits down, two to go. Good news is you only have one move in circuits three and four. One move, here we go. Brush off that sweat. All right, it's a staggered deadlift and row. Megan's gonna use one dumbbell. We'll go right foot forward, left toe pop. You're gonna hinge. Megan's gonna give you one row. I'm gonna go two weights. So it looks like this. 80% in that front foot, 20 in the back. Hinge forward, I'm gonna row, stand tall. Hinge, row, stand tall, all right? 40 seconds, you only do each leg once. You only do each leg once. All right, we go in three, two, let's go. Hinge, row, stand tall. Hinge, row, stand tall. This is where you could go heavy, legs and back, two pretty big muscle groups, all right? I always call these my mommy muscles, right? I'm 12 weeks postpartum. I got three kids. Tell you what, legs and back, if I have a day where I don't know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna train legs and back because they are the most used muscle groups. Your core is involved in every rep. Your back is the largest muscle group in your upper body, so it's super efficient. Come on, nice. How many times a day do you bend over, hinge over, pick up grocery bags, pick up children, pick up passies that dropped? Five, four, three, Two, give me one more. Yes, you got it. Set the weights down, walk away. You got one more rep or one more set and it's on the other side. Same thing. Megan's gonna switch hands. She's gonna row on that right arm. I'm gonna row with both arms. You decide what works for you. 80% right here in the left foot, 20 in the right toe. We go in three, two, let's go. Hinge, row, and stand. Nice work. Hinge, row, and stand. Awesome job, you guys. Hinge, pull. Nice, I'm thinking about pulling those elbows back to meet my rib cage. <sighs> Lower with control. It's a controlled movement. Like I said, if I was at home today, doing this by myself, I'd maybe strive for heavier weights right here. Really get after it, you're halfway. Your legs and back are two big muscle groups. Pairing them together is so efficient, especially when you're doing a quick full body workout like this one. Let's go. Come on, it's this. And then we got that one minute burnout. You got five, four, three. You're going to give me one more because you can. One more rep. Yes, there it is. Awesome job. One minute burnout. It looks like this. We're going to go to a sumo stance. Heels in, toes out. Nice wide squat. I'm going to take my weights to the ground. Two weights. Megan is going to do one weight and shorten the mobility. So I'm going to do a sumo deadlift. I'm going to drop my hips. I'm going to row. I'm going to row. Push the hips high. Pull up. So hinge, drop, row, row push and pull. I'm going to go 20 because I can today. Legs and back. It's one minute. Yes. Megan's got one dumbbell in between her legs. It's one minute, you guys. Right here. Choose the range of motion that works for you. We go in three, two, let's go. Hinge. Drop the hips. Row, row. Hips are high. Stand up. Hinge. Drop. Row. Row. Hips high. Pull up. Hinge. Drop. Row, row, hips high, pull up. Hinge, drop, row, row, hips high, pull up. Nice work, you guys. Keep those weights nice and tight to your body. You're working a lot more inner thigh here with that sumo deadlift. Hinge, drop, hold. You're gonna hit the quads right there on that hold. Now when I stand up, I'm really thinking about pulling those inner thighs together as I stand, you're halfway. Nice work. Row, row. Hips high, pull up, you got it. Hinge, drop, row, row, hips high, pull up one more, that's it. Come on, finish it right here. Hips high, pull up, one minute and you crush it. Nice work, grab a sip of water, that is circuit three. You have one circuit left and it is a challenging one. I'm not gonna lie. We save the best for last. It is sumo squats, and push-ups. Yep, you got this, you guys, okay? Your move, your one minute burnout is core, it's just dead bug. So this is your big move, you're gonna do it twice, okay? It is a sumo squat, actually, you know what? We're short on time, you're gonna do it once. You're gonna do it once and you're gonna give me your best, best effort. 
you're gonna go two, 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 two. I got five hours of sleep last night, can you tell? I have a 12 you're week old. You're doing great, mom. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna do two sumo squats and two push-ups. So it looks like this, the weights are between my legs. Down, up, down, plant, step back, find a high plank, two push-ups. <sighs> Megan's gonna drop to the knees, step back in. Two sumo squats, two push-ups. It's 40 seconds and you only do it once, yes? You only do it once, so you're gonna give me your best. Yes, I see you at home. I know you can do this, let's go. Come on, two sumo squats, two push-ups. You're on in three, two, let's go. It's 40 seconds, down, up, plant them, plant them on the ground, step back, find that high plank, two push-ups, down, up, down, up. Step your feet wide, outside those weights. Stand up, two sumo squats, down, up, plant them, step back, two push-ups, down, up, down. Oh, I might have to drop to those knees. Step in. Come on. Up. Two sumo squats. Down. Up. Plant them. Step back. Let's go. Two push-ups. Come on. Come on. You're only doing this one once. Say yes, I can. Right here. Yes, I can. Two squats. Down. Up. Two push-ups and you're out. Two push-ups and you're out. Come on. Down. Up. Down. Ah, fought for every rep. Woo. Weights off to the side. Holy bananas. Come on. One move left, you guys. It's core training. A beginner core exercise that we should carry with us into every season of life. Dead bug. Legs have been at 90 degrees. Arms are up. Closer my knees are to my chest, easier it is. Farther my knees are from my chest, harder it is. The longer I extend my leg, harder. Opposite arm, opposite leg. One minute. We go in three, two, let's go. Extend, pull together. Extend, pull together. Ready, it's one minute of slow, methodical, intentional core work right here. Nice work. Reach, nice. The closer you get that heel to the ground, the harder it's gonna be. Okay, you can kick up here, or you can go down here. Closer that heel is to the ground, harder. Farther the knees are from the chest, harder. Longer the arm goes from the leg, harder. Right, your core is designed to stabilize your body as your arms and legs move in space. That's exactly what you're doing right here. Farther the legs and arms go from the body, harder it is. Core training 101. Come on, it's really slow, it's really intentional. Right here, this is it. It's your finisher, you got 15 seconds. 15 seconds and you're done with this full body burnout. It's strength training at its finest. We hit every stinking muscle group. We did it, let's go. You feel so good, you feel so strong. Yes, you can for three, two, and one. Awesome work, you guys. Roll yourself up to a seated position. We are going to stretch it out. I'm so stinking proud of you. Because we hit those inner thighs with those sumo squats, let's go ahead and do this. You're gonna kick your right leg out. You're gonna hinge back, point the toes up to the ceiling, point them down, forward, back. Point them up, point them down. You're gonna feel those inner thighs, right? If you struggled with those sumo squat range of motion, or if you struggle with this move right here, this is an adductor internal thigh rotation. Something to come back to and try, right? Feels good. Nice, right? Feels good. Open. One more, one more. Hup. Back. Toes up. Toes down. Bring it back to that quadruped position, and we're going to take this arm, right arm. You're going to reach it up. You're going to thread that needle. Hips stay high. Drop the ear. Drop the shoulder to the mat. You can stay right here where your gaze is pointing towards your fingers. Option, you want to intensify the shoulder stretch. Turn your head away from your fingertips. It's going to intensify that shoulder stretch. It's going to feel really good, right? Awesome job, you guys. So stinking proud of you. Nice work. Bring it back to that quadruped position. Go ahead, take one cat cow, drop the belly, look up, and then arch it. Pull those shoulder blades apart as you gaze towards your belly button. Back to center. You're now gonna kick that left leg out. Hinge back, toes up, toes down, take it forward. Hinge back, toes up, toes down. Nice, always good to continue to work on that mobility and range of motion. We can get so focused on strength training, hit training, that we forget about mobility, which is really how we stay injury free and are able to continue to do these functional workouts every day. Give me one more right here. Toes up, toes down, pull back to that quadruped position, left arm up, thread that needle, shoulder and ear to mat. Again, you have the option to stay facing your fingertips or take that gaze opposite of the fingertips to increase that shoulder stretch. So stinking proud of you. Awesome work today. Nice work, bring it back to center. We're gonna go for one final stretch because it's my favorite and we have been hunched over. We're gonna open up the chest, the shoulders. Legs are bent at 90 degrees. Fingertips are facing my butt. It's a reverse tabletop. Drive through the heels, lift the hips. Just let the neck hang heavy. Think about spreading your chest apart. I'm really feeling a nice little bicep stretch here too. And my favorite stretch to do every stinking day because I'm still nursing a baby. 
about every two hours. <laughs> so this feels so good. Hold it here for three, two, one. Set those hips back. So proud of you guys. Awesome job working out today. Nice work, Megan. You guys crushed it. And you can always find more workouts at nourishmovelove.com. Have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me for that full body workout. If you loved it, I'd be so grateful if you dropped a subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. And if you like this workout, you'd also love this full body strength workout right here. Or you can find all of our beginner friendly workouts in this playlist right here. Have a great day.